people awful. bringing things to you and giving them to you, if especially you things that they made. And they're not ready to laugh. Yeah. It means I'm going to have to fucking chisel through all their fucking deluded, dishonest bullshit. Probably a bunch of Republicans. Those are, those are typically the people that sit down and make dice for Spencer out of copper. <laughs> Talk about a typical white male non-lesbian move. Portland, Oregon, hello! I have some very good news for you guys. Town is now in session. Hope you join me in welcoming the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon! For the podcast listeners out there, Dan Herman emerges from the shadows with no shirt on and, and a camera on his head. He has a GoPro camera strapped to his head and uh, a stomach that clearly has been off its diet for the last two weeks. Uh, that, is a, that is a comment that would hurt the corporeal, Jeff, but I am man transformed. I have been on a, a, a 20 day tour. I am now in the cradle of American civilization, Portland. The, the, uh, Terrible seats. I am, I am in the basin, the, 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 the hot tub, the, 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 the bath, the, the belly button, the, the, uh, the, 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 the voodoo donuts of, 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 of the United States. Are you, going to, are you going to do the whole show with no shirt and a camera on your I head? don't know, Jeff. I proudly <laughs> tell you, I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. Yes, what yeah. do these people do for a living? Are they in, are they industrial or, or or do they make art? Are they teachers? It's Portland. We do it with the fuck we want, Jeff. We are activated humanity. I truly hope that somebody, at least one person, here tonight has no idea what Harmontown is. <laughs> <laughs> No, my, my, favorite, my favorite is the, yeah, like I said, the, the, the couples who come because their underage son or daughter couldn't get, come to the show, they just came to get a community DVD signed. <laughs> That's it's like two 40-year-old men and women like, like coming up to me after the show, like, hi, uh, could you just make it out to Rachel? I, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I, look, here's the you thing. You got no shirt on. <laughs> I'm almost certain that's illegal. You're not allowed to come out here with no shirt. Yeah, on. we did get like almost arrested in Vegas when I did this. But I think that's because you're not supposed to sing to the studio at karaoke. <laughs> the uh, the reason I'm doing this, Jeff, <laughs> is because I'm sitting back in the green room. We're being we're being given all these gifts. Like wait, Portland is it's it's yeah. the San Francisco of the Northwest. <laughs> Certainly, I think that's safe to say. Yeah. The culture is high. Everyone's practically a lesbian like like, <laughs> like 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 and they don't give a shit and they're friendly about it too uh like 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 uh, people that aren't lesbians just like are still just welding shit and calling it art like <laughs> there's a, there's a mental and cultural health here jeff that is like like if there is a place that we're going to call harmontown that is earthbound it would be here i i, I apologize i apologize to our friends back home in Los Angeles. I apologize to our friends we're going to talk to in San Francisco. You know I love San Francisco too, but here's the thing. We came in here, there's people like, like, like showering us with like someone made Spencer special copper dice. Yeah, like, like, really, like, 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 yeah like, really cool like that. Yeah, really cool like Someone made us all t-shirts. Yeah, By I, the way, this might be a good time to give me my shirt. <laughs> no, Dan, do the whole show like that. Go ahead. 
Uh, I need to be mic'd and stuff. It's, it's not. I just, I wanted to participate in their fucking, like, artistic abandon. I want to be a Portlandier. Yeah, uh, somebody, uh, somebody made me this, this pin. It's just a pin with a tie on it, which I love. I, I, Paul, are you out there, Paul? Yeah. So thank you, Paul and Noel. Thank you. And then somebody made me, uh, made me a tie with, uh, with uh, Adidas stripes on the tie. Yeah. And then on the back is. Because this is Nike Town. I got a Sharpie shirt. Someone made this. Someone made Spencer's shirt. There was a guy, there was a guy, like, like Portland's version of the obnoxious guy that tries to zig when he should zag. Like, like, like any, any other city, like, there's always a guy that's like, well, fuck this. I'm not going to be a fan. I'm going to impress the hell out of this guy by telling him to go fuck himself. Um, the Portland's version of that guy printed up, like, uh, political literature about getting me recalled as mayor of Harmontown. Yeah. It's filled with material. It's so dense. I couldn't finish reading it all in the thing. There was like flyers. I think his name was Kyle. He had me sign a petition. About me, mine said Jeff Davis, suit and tie? Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's, the, that's, the, that's how heightened things are here because it's the, I don't know, it's the ocean air, it's the yogurt. What do, what do they do here? Uh, they keep it weird here. You know, uh, Portland is a fantastically weird and groovy they in its own right. Yeah. They ask the question, why are we doing this society? And if the answer is, I don't know, they fucking drop it like a goddamn hot potato. Why, why, why can't you park here? Fuck it, we can. <laughs> Who, who should I have sex with tonight? Uh, uh, I, I like Ted, but also David too. Fuck it, I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I'm going to make love to a woman like she has never been made love to before, and I'm going to run a local brewery, <laughs> and I'm going to be cool to straight guys because they're not a threat either. Like everything's fine. Let's all just hang out, play uh, 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 board games. <laughs> And, and, and fly kites and just like run, run, run around in Portland. I'm, I'm on fire here. I, I, you, you're the show. Please, like, what can I do for you? Help. Uh, 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 dance? I heard, I heard dance take your shirt back off. <laughs> do it the more I hear about you, the more I love you. Yeah, don't choke up on the bat. Take that shirt back off, man. Or take your shirt off and put your pants on as a shirt. Been on the tour bus. If I take my pants off, it's gonna get like uncomfortably clinical. Like, in, terms, in, in terms of laundry. Rip rap, rip rap, Portland, Portland rap. We're gonna rap about Portland, Portland rap. Bayside, it's a place in the northwest. I fucked your mama in her crotch and her chest. I came on her titties and said, That's enough. I fucked your mama so hard she was like a bunch of snuff. In old time Europe, George Washington. I fucked your mama so hard she was astonished. <laughs> Cross the Delaware, fucked your mama's underwear, fucked your mama, fucked your mama in her pussy, Portland. <laughs> Whatever. Now, yeah. now, yeah. thank you. You're, you're very kind. You're, you're, good, you're good people. You're, you're, you're wonderful people. Terrible rap. <laughs> I'm tired of it, Jeff. Transformation is what's going to happen tonight. I came out nearly naked because Portland, in, in our story circle, if I haven't already transformed, then this whole tour has been for nothing. Right. I, it's, I know you've heard me talk about, oh, we must be dying here tonight. We must be resurrected here tonight. Portland is like the second to last stop. San Francisco's a gimme, whatever. That's the, whatever, San Francisco. Yeah. Fuck it, those it, guys. It's the, uh, it's the Portland of California. Yeah. <laughs> That's just nothing. That's practically, like, if, 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 if we, could, we, could, we could run to Los Angeles from San Francisco if they start booing and we'll be <laughs> home before they can catch yeah, us. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long run. This is the place where we're across the return threshold. If I have transformed as a human being, then we're going to see evidence of that tonight. If I am no longer a caterpillar, tonight is where we see my wings. So I came out with my shirt off because I got nothing. Right. I don't know. I, what, I don't what think do you, I've been on a journey. What do you feel like you should transform into? I, I have an idea. I, 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 I've been fighting the whole cult religious thing for forever. Because who would trust me? But then it, it dawned on me today. Okay, I was in the back. I was talking in the green room to Morgan, our road manager. Right. Whose relatives are in Portland. He spent, he had dinner with his brother. How's your family, Morgan? Oh, my parents couldn't make it. My dad's uh, meds, blah, blah, blah. What's wrong with your dad? His dad's got bone cancer, worst of the cancers. And cancer's the worst of the diseases. 
Um, it's the Portland of diseases. No. No, no, I mean, me, me, uh, uh, no, no. Meaning it's the best. I mean, if no, a, no. It, 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 what Jeff means is that in disease world, in the Monsters Incorporated of disease world, <laughs> cancer yeah. is like, like high fives yeah. people on the way to its job of making people miserable in normal, normal world. So he's right. That's the, cancer rides a bike and has a Zach Galifianakis beard. And can, uh, cancer is the Billy Crystal of diseases <laughs> in, in disease world, which is weird because Billy Crystal is the cancer of people uh, in normal, normal, world. <laughs> normal world. I just, I just, I just got that. Uh, yeah. the, but the, I can't. So <laughs> Thank God, you can't wear a camera and, in your well, head it, the whole time. It constricts time. your head and like it's so. Um, all right. So, uh, what, so, so I was saying, oh, Morgan, that's terrible. Bone, bone, bone. I heard that's the worst of them. Like, like it's, the worst. Well, pancreatic, pancreatic, pancreatic's the worst, but it's fast, isn't it? No. No? Okay. All right. All right. I don't want to get in a, a cancer. Well, I do want to get in a cancer debate. That's fine. I, I, I don't, I'm not shrugging that off. We can talk about cancer. But, 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 sir, at least admit this much. It's bad to have bone cancer. Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's what I was in the green room having that conversation. And it's like, like, oh, our tour manager is dad of bone. And I, I, I just expressed it as I was like, what, 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 is, what, is, what is God doing? What is his end game? What's his problem? Like, like what, what, what's this guy's deal? And, and, uh, and Morgan's like, what do you mean? And I was like, what's he, what's he, what's he doing? What's he doing to us? And Morgan said, yeah, he definitely needs a hobby. About God. <laughs> God needs a hobby. God needs a hobby. He's too focused. I then it I, dawned I, I, on me. Then it dawned on me. Hobby. Dungeons and Dragons. Spencer is God. I, I would go for that for sure. That's an acceptable religion. Like if I if I started to L. Ron Hubbard into a kind of like Philip Seymour Hoffman master kind of like like Tom Cruise Magnolia kind of like vibe where I was like, this is how you feel, hey ya. Um, like everyone would go, eh, it's, it's, it's funny if it's a joke and he's fat, and he's stupid, like, fired from community and doesn't care. Um, but if we started to worship Spencer, it would never get abused. And also, God needs a hobby. If that hobby was Dungeons and Dragons. All of life's rules would be consistent. All of the randomness would be die rolls, and all of, we would all have character sheets, and everything we would we could all level up consistently, or die and be resurrected as other things. Like it's all it all works, and I think that based on his freestyle rapping, like Spencer may be actually God. Like he he could be like like God on Earth. Like at the it makes sense to think about everything you know about Spencer. Our dungeon master. Right. He uh, he appeared out of nowhere. We don't know anything about him. He raised his hand in the audience and said, "Do we need a dungeon master?" And he went, "I'm a dungeon master." And but he, but he, he came that night uh, not knowing that you were going to say that. But he came uh, with the uh, the idea. I have to drive from Simi Valley to Hollywood, which I which Someone I never needs do. Someone a dungeon master because I want to play D and D with Dan Harmon. He came that night, and you asked him to come up. You can listen to the podcast; it's recorded. Where yeah. he just appears out of nowhere, and goes, "I'm a dungeon master." Um, he wears shorts in the snow. He wears shorts in the snow. That's another godlike quality. <laughs> he's the best freestyle rapper ever. He can rap about yeah. dinosaurs. He can rap about. Also, he's very bashful. He's a, he's a shy guy. However, he's the most unflappable person on stage. You can't. You can't tamper with Spencer. He's he has a, and this is where it gets kind of Christ-like, where it's like half God, half man, or Hercules, if you're offended by the, the Christianity thing. It's like, it doesn't matter. It's like the idea of half man, half God has existed forever. Google it. Uh, uh, he, he, he is, he is, he, 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 he's, he's relatable because he's a, he, you, you can access him, but he's yeah, he's incorruptible at the he's, same time. He, he's he's separate from us. Like like we, we talk about love. He's like ah, love love is for people. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not a people. He kind of he kind of disagrees with everything. You take him to a bar and he goes like ah, I've been to four bars. It's not really working. <laughs> and he went off to a garden somewhere. And he let's, can't, let, like, let's, let's bring him out. It's better let's bring to bring God out. <laughs> Dice roll. 
rolling hard. <laughs> With those chicken Shiites come a terrorist advising me. I'm going to refer him to Spencer and have him get a critical hit for me. <laughs> he's got a beard and he's not on a cloud. He's down here playing D&D. Spencer is my god, America, you and me. So it's not a good song, but... Too much, Spencer. too much. Uh, 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 I like it. Yeah, he likes it. He <laughs> likes it. Am I on? Yeah, it sounds, yeah. sounds good. All How's right. it going, guys? Hey. hey, hey. Spencer, I'm being attacked by, uh, 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 man. Uh, by, by, by Toby Keith. By t- <laughs> Approaching you. As a shirt that can only be described as tight and ill fitting. <laughs> the blue and black plaid screams out trying too hard. With a lilting voice and a, a pin that plugs his Denver based I Heart This Barbecue and Grill, whatever the fuck that place was. He starts to play a song about a red cup or some shit. <laughs> that's all, that's all I got. Yeah. Yeah. Again, the references, you know, hey, not we, my forte. Can, can we uh, uh, can we get our mics up a little bit, just, uh, at least in the monitor, please? <laughs> Sound guy? <laughs> Check, one, two. I think it's shit, gorgeous. shit. Gorgeous. There we go. Yeah, Portland. Uh, nice city. Uh, what's up with your mics? <laughs> uh, we like everything else, but uh, mics are a little cold. I can't, Dan, really, I can't really see anybody except the people in the front row. Have you been to Portland before, Dan? Uh, yeah, I've been to Portland. I, I, sp- I spoke at this uh, thing, this XOXO festival. Uh, woo! Uh, uh, that, uh, I, it was like six months ago. I came here. I hung out with Adam Savage from Mythbusters. Oh, shit! Damn. Ate a sandwich with him. <laughs> did, did, it's a very lukewarm applause for some, Adam Savage. <laughs> but more important than that, did someone boo him? <laughs> Can you imagine someone coming, Ugh, this uh, guy busts too many myths. <laughs> No, he doesn't. Jamie Heineman busts the myths. <laughs> oh, Adam Savage is, is fucking yeah. hanging on for dear life. Yeah, he just, uh, that's what it is. Jamie's doing all the fucking heavy lifting on that show. I'm, I, am, I am actively endeavoring to bust the myth of our lack of friendship between me and Adam. I, I told him as much. I'm sure he never gets that. Are you guys pals? I'm trying to make it happen. Are, are you a fan of that show? Well, I saw like six episodes of it a long time ago, yeah. <laughs> are they still doing them? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, 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 I think that show busts the myth that they're funny because they keep doing sketch comedy and it's the worst. Oh. Please stop asking those fuckers to do sketch comedy. I, I, so just tell me the facts. Bust a myth. Don't do sketch comedy. Don't, don't dress up like ninjas and like, oh, I'm the, who, who's the twatty fucking guy that always hurts himself? Uh, Tori. Tori, what a cunt. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's like, like, yeah, I'm a ninja. Like, 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 just fucking just build something and don't be a dick and fucking get on with it. All right, well, all right. Yeah, Toby Keith, Jimmy Buffett, Tori from fucking Mythbusters. Good. <laughs> Fuck him. Jeff. T- yeah. We are in the Nike capital of the country. Nike? Fuck Nike. <laughs> Does anybody work at, at, at Nike? Do you guys? Uh, no, because Nike's just, it's just it's yeah. just an office and it's just like there's a PO you, box and the, the, you have to like you have to be a, a 14 year old girl from Kuala Lumpur to work at uh, Nike. <laughs> but you can become CEO. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah. There's no glass ceiling there. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, I thought that because we were trying to sponsor our show by, with, with Nike earlier. We, 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 get, we gave Nike a chance and they dropped the ball. We, we, we tried to... Uh, Kettle One. What the hell's going on over there? No, they're just ordering oh, okay. nothing. They're just ordering, ordering, ordering us to be distracted. What are, you, what are you looking on your phone right now for? I, I wanted to check you, and see... Did you get a text? What's going on? No, no, no. I just wanted to make sure I didn't, I didn't make any notes. And I sure didn't. I, I don't. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Nope, just hanging out in Portland. <laughs> yeah. hope, hope, hope this gets better. I have to say, uh, uh, Portland, with, with, without a doubt, uh, is one of my favorite cities that I've ever been to in the world. Portland is the fucking real world. 
very strangely, you guys take food very seriously here. And, 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 but even like, even simple things, like like little, like a, a grilled cheese is better here for some reason. Like you guys like, I was speaking of, uh, oh. Yeah, we're not drinking Kettle One tonight. If we, if we go through a city that has their own local uh, vodka that's decent, we're drinking House Spirits. Is it Vol Volstead Vodka, right? Yeah, I don't Volstead, know. Volstead, uh, named after the act that prohibited alcohol for, for what, 15 years? How long? How, how long was the prohibition? 20 years? 15? 20 till what? 33, 13 years, yeah. Sports Corner! Sports Corner! Oh my god, everybody keep clapping until I find the music for it. Oh my god. Sports Corner! Hello, Portland, Oregon. It's Sports Corner time with Dan Harmon. He loves sports. I know you do too, because you're Harmontown fans. If anything says sports, it says Harmontown. Nike, brought to you by Nike. Nike, we're racist. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> hey, Dan, uh, how about those Blazers this year? What do you oh think? Oh, my God. Finally, finally. Yeah, well, you can hear it in the crowd. Like, the Blazers have really turned it around. Uh, what do you think they came from, and wh wh where are they headed? Wh 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 what direction are the well, Blazers I mean, headed? I like to think they come from Portland, uh, uh, but I make no assumptions. I mean, you know, the, the free agent system being what it is, the new drafts, the second drafts, the third drafts, uh, uh, you know, you, get, you, 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 you don't go into regionals with the team you want. You, 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 you get the team that you get. I think Coach, 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 Coach North, Norfolk is... Uh, is, is he, he, he knows how to pick the, the winners uh, at the beginning do you of think the it was draftable a, season. Do you think it was a mistake to bring Steve Nash in after the injury? Steve Nash's injury was, to me, largely cosmetic. It's no big deal. We're just summoning a giant monster. <laughs> It super protects us. Uh, it's gonna seem like a monster, but when Godzilla gets here, you'll be thankful. Dan, uh, I, I know this is a hot button topic for you, especially because you love soccer so much. Uh, Timbers versus the uh, Sounders. Uh, the Cascadia Cup is coming up in a couple days. Uh, I've always said. Uh, Timbers, sounders, Jeff. I say merge them together, put them into like a timber sounder, like like. like. But until until the until the league league allows us to do that, uh, I, I mean the timbers are timbers are an offensive team and the sounders are defensive. That's always been the way it is since since the '40s, going through uh, 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 Jacobson and all the way to uh, Landgraf and uh, uh, Greenblatt and uh, all the, all those coaches like. Uh, uh, the, the only the only Jewish soccer coach uh, in, in MLS history. He had, a, I mean, his famous "This is a team" speech. <laughs> I know you're a big Greenblatt fan. Can you, can you give us some of the Jewish coach uh, speech? <laughs> I mean, has, like, who can forget him saying, you know, like, 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 like this, this is, is a way to kick a ball. Right? This is a way to kick a ball, and uh, you know, you, you don't you don't throw, you don't write. Uh, uh, just a smidge of offense is always the, 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 the best defense, but what do I know? Uh, All right, Dan, uh, next season, uh, coin toss. Who do you like, ducks or beavers? D I'm telling you, telling you beavers for sure. Only, for only one reason, you've got, you've got a front line that's amazing. They're always there ahead of the back line. Uh, <laughs> They, they, they know how to charge forward and gain that valuable footage and yardage and just stack it against. They keep the knees iced, they keep the, uh, they keep the defense on the point, and they flank correctly. <laughs> I've never, I can't tell you how many of that, wait, wait, of that wait, sports wait, particular team. Which of the two schools do you like? The, uh, uh, the schools of thought uh, uh, regarding uh, the, the sport that we're talking well, about? I mean, like, which, which university do you like the most between Ducks and Beavers? I think that that, that, uh, that, that, are you saying which, the, the I'm just asking you to name one of the schools. <laughs> University of Portland, I think. U, U, UP, UP. UP, uh, they've got it tied up in a ribbon. Okay. Sports Corner with Dan Harley. <laughs> Sports 
Something happened after the Mothra attack that we're ringing out. Here. Yeah, I, I, I kicked a cord and all hell broke loose. I kicked a cord. And I liked it. <laughs> uh, who's in pain tonight? Like, uh, until, until say I have pancreatic cancer. Well, no, that's fine. If you have From a hairpin cancer, turn department. I don't know why I would adjust that. Like, like, don't come up if you have pancreatic cancer. We don't want your bullshit up here. Who's it? Who's it? Transitional, emotional. You're moving tomorrow. Wait, <coughs> a, a hand went back up there. Uh, what, what's? Back? It's hard for me to see from up here. But, wait, yeah, wait, is, uh, it, is, it a, is it a gal? Yes. What's your name? Alma. Alma, get up here. Alma, everybody. Or if you want to, if you want to. I, <laughs> I learned in uh, I learned in either Madison or Minneapolis, I can't remember which, that we got to remember to say, would you like to come up here? No. So that if they're assholes, you get to ask them, why did you come up here? Uh, I made the mistake of, like, I got in the habit of like, get up here! And then a guy was like, hey, I'm an asshole! And I was like, why are you being an asshole? He's like, you told me to come up here! And Hello, I kind of didn't have a... Hello, Alma. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, so you're, are you, you're, you're in a transition in your life? I am. What, what kind? In fact, ah, uh, well, I just started a new job recently. Can you give us details? I work at a bakery. I'm a baker. That's your new job? That's, yeah. It's not that awesome bakery with the windows where you can look in. I, was, I walked past one from my Were hotel. you on Alberta? Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. that, I should have more information for you. That, there, there, there are a lot of bakeries that do that. I do have a fish bowl in my bakery. You can smell, I can smell cookies everywhere. I was like, why is it cookie? There's, it's midnight. And then I walked past this place and I looked in the window and there was there's just bread, loaves of bread going everywhere, like little trolley cars and... That, that doesn't sound like my bakery, unfortunately. But okay. It sounds fantastic. And yours, the bread just sits there like a... <laughs> like a, in a big pot. Well, I mean, bread. it's it's well, it's well displayed. It's, not, it's, it, not, it's it, not open to the, to the public. Like, it's weird, like, well, peering in. Uh, it's displayed. It's just, And I sell pastries, lots of pastries. So that's your new job. It's the, it's the new job, and yeah. And, I just started it in, uh, in December. And your old job was? I worked at a food cart where I made grilled cheese sandwiches, but that job ended back in June. Right. So it's been a long, it's, it's Oh, so, so, so really it was, the pain was about the, the, the period of unemployment. Yes. Did you collect unemployment? Uh -oh. No. Did you know that you can? I didn't, I, I, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, uh, it's, it's the way that I became unemployed that's causing me, it's, it's oh. physical pain as well. I, I was injured, oh. in, injured. Like for, at a food cart? No. No, regrettably. What, what? That would have been more awesome. Oh, you get you get injured off duty. Yeah. Well, what happened? I got hit by a cement lamppost. <laughs> is that is that is that That's your that revisionist happens. way of saying you walked into a lamppost? <laughs> because those don't tend to move around a lot. I got stabbed by a lamppost seven times. <laughs> I got, a, a, a fire hydrant kicked my foot. You mean you're an no. alcoholic? That's what you mean. <laughs> Hey, Alma, what, what, what? Lamp posts are fucking vicious. Wait, I got attacked. Explain, explain what happened. So, I was at a park on the 4th of July, and some friends uh, of mine were there, and they had a slack line. Do you know what slack lining is? No, no. No, you just, it's... I do, but explain to them. All right, so it's kind of... <laughs> That's 40 bucks downtown, right? <laughs> Yeah. So it's, 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 somebody poops in your chest, right? <laughs> okay. I, I mean, if you want. I... <laughs> what, is, what is slacklining? Slacklining is, so you've got a, a nylon rope, similar to what you'd use to, like, for, for climbing. And you okay. set it up between two things. And in this case, we're setting it up really low to the ground, so it's no higher than this. Okay. Knee level. She's knee level, okay. Yeah, um, and so we were at a park and we were like, hey, let's play with the slack line. So, okay, we'll set it up. And the two trees that we picked were too far apart. So somebody else said, hey, lamppost, let's try that. But wait, I have to stop you, because what, what, you, you, what are you doing with the... Oh, rope? sorry, sorry. Are you, you, are you, you walk across. Are you took it like a tightrope walker, except it's, it's, instead of tight, it's slack line. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, so it's like an entertainment thing? Like a, like a performance? Like you walk across the, you do a tightrope act with uh, Well, in this case, we're just fucking around, so. Right. Well, no, I, I mean, I, But I, yes, you could do it for entertainment. There's a movie that, uh, uh, the name of which I can't remember, the subtitle is um, Flight of the Frenchies, and they're doing something similar, but that's way more extreme. Right. Man on Wire! Man on Wire. Well, I don't think that's, I don't, is the subtitle Flight of the Frenchies on Man on the Wire? I don't know. Maybe not. It's a, it's a, you were doing but a tightrope back, you were fucking around. Which is entertainment, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Okay, we're all on the same well, page. So, okay. so, so, uh, the, the idea is that you're gonna have to have a little bit 
of tension on the line or you can't walk on it, it's useless. Right. There's a little bit of tension on the line. And I'm standing, so if this is the tree, that's the lamppost. I'm standing right about here. And uh, the lamp had just set up, and we're just figuring out if it's tight enough to walk on. And one boy puts his foot on it and he gets right off because something is wrong. And I'm looking at him over here. <laughs> and, and you're kind of where my boyfriend is standing. He's kind of like, he shouts my name, Alma. And I turn and I look, and the lamppost is right what here. What the hell? <laughs> you found one of Portland's many uh, uh, scandalous, like, <laughs> fake lampposts that they had stopped <laughs> to get all that, uh, 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 you know, uh, nearly blind uh, uh, grant money. I. <laughs> so there's like there was like there was like they, they found like a bunch of like uh, in the 70s to the 90s like New York had a, like a, a whole shitload of fake fire hydrants <laughs> that they that they just put that it did not have water underneath them it was it had to do with like city funding or something anyways look that's it up not, that's I'm one of those guys because I read this but then you'll look it up and it's all bullshit but uh, anyways so, um, a, a, a concrete lamppost comes crashing down on you uh -huh. and where did it hit you it hit me right here. On your head. And then a it hit giant, me right here. Well, like a lamppost is like a million. It's, yeah, it's enormous. And it has a lamp. Uh, and, and yeah. it's, it's everything. So here's what happened. The lamp hit me here and then gave me a nice little laceration right up here. On, on her head. Was, She's pointing to her head. It's a, po it's a podcast, Alma. Come on. I'm sorry. I She's do, pointing I at her head. Know this. She's pointing at her head. The so lamp right, was right, in the right in the middle, like right on the top of my scalp. It's like an inch long or so. They did to close out with staples. Oh, but damn then, it. The, and then you the went, lantern. You, you went home and you explained off. to your mom. <laughs> Like, I got hit in the and she's like, what were you doing with well, the lamppost? I called post? my dad from the hospital. He's like, what? You were, were you fixing a lamppost? No, like, dad. I was slack roping. And I wasn't even on the line. Like, that's the really distressing thing. Like, I was just a standing there. Are you, uh, is there any, like, hangover from that? Is there any, like, lasting injury to that? Yeah, I'm still, that's where the pain's coming from. I have a midfoot sprain that is yet to heal. Like, I had a broken ankle and uh, stitches and surgery and nonsense and bad things and like six months on it. And none of, none of this is covered bed. by insurance, I assume. No. I would not. No. If I was an not. insurance company, I would say you, 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 you tether a, a lamppost to pull them down <laughs> as part of your, your ad hoc clown act at your own peril. <laughs> when, when, when that goes wrong, it's force majeure as far as we're concerned here at Allstate. <laughs> Uh, I mean, but but, but I'm sorry, simultaneously thinking only in Portland, coolest city in the world. Like people should do that more often. And, you, and you totally should. This is not a cautionary tale. Do go slacklining. Don't use a lamppost, but do go slacklining because it's a lot of fun. I would have thought those things were like deep into the ground, like that there was a whole yeah, lamppost high thing that like <laughs> no, dropped no, it in. No. No. Oh, Spencer. <laughs> They're designed to pop right off if you hit them in a car. Oh. <laughs> So it's like Grand Theft Auto. Like, yeah. Like, that's interesting. Wait, they're designed to break? Yeah, like if you hit a tree, tree stays put. If you hit a lamppost, lamppost gone. <laughs> but I guess the trade off is that you're alone. That's our first commandment. We gotta, we gotta... <laughs> We're slowly gonna compile our religion here. I think God talks like a caveman. Yeah. Yeah. Look, time hey, limited. Tree, Listen tree, up. Tree stays put. Hit lamppost. Lamppost gone. Kill it. Killing people bad. Don't be a dick. Fuck off. Uh, uh, all right. So and so because you sustained that injury, the food cart that you worked for was like, go fuck yourself. Like I, I had recently left them and was, and was I had like a two or three week period plan where I was gonna like take a, like a week or two off in the summertime, have fun, and then go to work at a different food cart. And in between is that's when the accident happened. Oh. And so I'm still, a, still, you know, like that. Uh, and now you're just looking at bread go by on a conveyor belt, <laughs> thinking about what you used to be. <laughs> it's actually not that sad. Like I, right now, I'm just getting to like the happy part. We're on the upswing now. I'm finally, I have a degree in baking, so baking is what I want to do. It's what I love to do. So you're not in but a painful I'm, transition. I am because my foot prevents me. My injury prevents me from. Keep, like doing more like I can't do I'm working two days a week right now with the third training day and I can't do any more than that you're adjusting to life as someone who's not allowed to slack line I'm adjusting <laughs> yes right okay well that's Alma alright let's have a hand for Alma for sharing her pain <laughs> Alma is there well, uh, well just one more question like well, if there's anything that you could do is it, it doesn't it doesn't stop at slacklining right like you what, what 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 would you do if you could do anything everything oh all right 
inspiring, but boring. <laughs> Uh, I'd, I'd but that's for, fine. I'd, it's a fine, healthy answer. I mean, I guess really that would be mine, too. I'd go for a really long fucking walk. I'd go for a fucking All right. bike ride. I'd, All right. Uh, Alma, the slackliner who would do everything. <laughs> who, all right. We're going to... Alma, we're going to do your... Uh, you can, you can, you can go, 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 go eat some pita bread, and we're going to... Uh, uh, <laughs> we're going <laughs> to... We're gonna do a movie for Alma. Okay. I've been having having some success with this. I'm gonna right. do like Alma's like uh, life story, I guess. It's 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 called uh, Slackliner. Slackliner. <laughs> Alma, honey, it's time to get up. Dad. <laughs> Alma, come on, it's time to get up. Breakfast is ready, Alma. Dad, I was dreaming. Dreaming about what? More of that slack line? <laughs> Door comes down. Whoa. Listen, you come from a long line of tight liners. <laughs> we keep our lines taut. If I find you walking on a line that is not taut, what have I told you about non-taut lines? What have I always told you? You don't... You, uh, the, the slack You're gonna break an ankle doing that shit. Yes. I, but you had a saying about All it right. too. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to work at the at the uh, lamp post factory. <laughs> he just doesn't get me. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, do my last day of work at the uh, food truck. <laughs> Alma. <laughs> yes. You're fired. What? But I've been. No. You fuck it. You're fired. <laughs> You, I, I, you guys keep moving no, the truck. I can't it's, find it. It's called the food truck. Yeah. If, 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 if it didn't have wheels, we'd call it a restaurant. This thing has wheels on it. Also, I found out yesterday that you served some cheese that wasn't grilled. What I told you about grilling cheese? It must be grilled. <laughs> or, or you're breaking ankle. You're cruising for a bruiser, Nama. You're fired. You're just like my dad. Fuck you. Stupid truck! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a job at a place that is almost identical to a food truck, but that without the truck part. Oh wait, look at this giant loaf of bread rotating around the, this building. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Oh hello. Welcome to my bakery. Would you like a job? Hey. Uh, yes. <laughs> Are, fair enough. My, my name is Alma. Alma what? Alma, Alma bitches? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a French joke. Forget me. <laughs> Wait, uh, okay, you're hired because I like your sense of humor. Oh, Be well. careful. Toe the line, do not do anything different than the rule state or you're going to break an ankle. Hey, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. I've got, right. I got two good feet and a brain ready to do everything. Later that night. Hey, Alma, how's it going? Whoa, hey, Sasquatch. Hey. <laughs> it's Yeti. <laughs> I'm, anyway, that's cool, man. It's Portland. Fucking do it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I had a dollar for every one of my friends that was named after the mythical uh, uh, abominable snowman. Hey, look, man. Alma, I know that you come from a long line of talk liners, but me and my friends, we're going to go fucking slack liner later on. You're not for that? Nah, it's not for me. It's oh, not no, for no, me. Come on, everyone's doing it. The line is less taught. Sasquatch. <laughs> No, we're gonna tie off to the. We're gonna. Your father works at the lamppost mill. That we know that those are gonna be sound and steady. He's also a tight liner. I know, but that, that, that's. That, we're gonna slack line on it, man. There's less tight. There's less tension there, man. I mean, girl. Thought balloon. My dad is a tight liner, and he makes uh, uh, lampposts. Lamp <laughs> so lonely. I want to fuck Sasquatch so bad. <laughs> Listen, I'll just, Alma, I'll just I'll, check it out and see okay. what it looks like. Look, man, I'll, I'll tie it off. Look, I'll, I'll come over to the... To, oh, man, this is one of your dad's lampposts. I'm going to tie it off. Oh, by the way, if, if you cross this, I'm going to fuck you so fucking hard afterward. Man. Well, let's, you know, let's, let's anchor it up. All right. But tie, not too tight. Tie it up. Hey, careful. Don't break your ankle. <laughs> All right, Sasquatch. Well, you test it out. I mean... Uh, looks good. Ah! <laughs> Kubrickian, 
conscious scene. Like a, not a montage, but like a yeah. sequence. Okay. If that's the word I lost. <laughs> Kubrickian unconscious sequence. Tightliner. Slackliner. That's my dad dressed as a loaf of bread. Bonjour. He's French. You're all going to break everybody's ankles now. But there's a monkey on the other side of the room. Hello, I'm a Sasquatch. I'm a... Oh. Oh. Wow. The monkey wow. and the Sasquatch wow. and the bread. Everything's the honey, same. Honey, honey, wake oh. up. Dad, oh. honey, oh. Alma, wake up. It's your father. Dad. Hi. You, you were having a... The <laughs> door goes down. <laughs> you were having a terrible dream. Were you dreaming about doing anything other than what you're supposed to do by following the rules? No. Never, ever, ever follow your dreams. <laughs> I'm a man, you're a woman. I run shit. Anything you do out of the ordinary is gonna break your ankles. Inside Alma's father's bloodstream. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> I'm an alien monster. <laughs> Al alpha monster. Yeah? Beta, beta, beta bloodstream monster reporting for duty. Ah, let's give this asshole bone cancer. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, Pancre pancreatic cancer. It's just, oh. Pancreatic, it's way worse. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, That's uh, maybe too soon, but I... <laughs> T turning the little-known uh, giant valve inside every human body that gives them a cancer. <laughs> Outside uh, Alma's father's body. Honey? Dad? Oh, shit. And another thing, Dad. My bones. What? Oh, oh Dad! My cancer just broke my ankle. Oh, Dad! The hunters become the hunted. Uh, Run! Uh, Run! The whole Run! house is crumbling apart for some reason. <laughs> Actual Sasquatch comes up and starts fucking you. <laughs> in in, in, in midair with the Sasquatch fucking me, I turn to slow mo and a volleyball enters frame and I hit it. At which point we transition to the 2018 Olympics on a beach. <laughs> oh, and almost won the, the women's <laughs> volleyball championship. It's in the way that she uses. Come in, you go. I can do everything. There you are, Alan. Wow, oh, that's a good movie. That seemed like a good movie. I would, I would rent that. That had everything. That had a little bit of everything. Yeah, I would, I would rent that. <laughs> did you, uh, did you know that Matthew Lillard played the Sasquatch? I did not know that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Spencer, what do you think about that? I thought it was great. Definitely, <laughs> definitely in the top uh, three sketches. Yeah, well, you would think that, you asshole. Oh. Uh, what? Right battle. Oh. Uh, Fuck this guy. <laughs> Rap battle. Angry. Angry at him. Rap battle. Anger. I'm the king of the rap stage with my microphone. I fucked your mama because I hate being alone. I'm so lonely, deep inside. I fucked your mama so hard, pussy got wide. I said, hang out, I'll be back later. I fucked your mama, cause I'm an alligator. I chomped your pussy with my big teeth and a bird came in and cleaned them out. Yeah! Booyah! Go, Spencer. Yo, Dan Harmon's putting me down, but you all just see that he's a sad clown. He's standing over there and doing a dance, and we can all see that there's holes in his pants. I'm sitting over here, and I'm having a good time, trying to come up with my next rhyme. I think I'm gonna rhyme about the audience being cool. I think you don't even really drool. <laughs> Your pants are fine. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, it's, a big, it's a big conflict. How are we doing on time, Jeff? Uh, we're good. 
<laughs> what time did we start? I have no idea. What time was it? 7.30? Oh shit, we're late. Here's some, some facts about Portland, Jeff. Huh? Did you know some facts about Portland? I did not. No Seventh, there's no second act to Portland. <laughs> was that a heckle? Is, it, is, it, is that your, are you like yeah, he, Roger Ebert? There's no a, second act. Aristotle. <laughs> What's that? Bobcats not, oh, oh, there's no second act follow, okay, got it. I'm a screenwriter, so when I heard second act, I was like, fuck you, there's a second act. <laughs> what do you call that rap battle, you asshole? <laughs> did you see the sweat on my forehead? There's a fucking second act, holy shit. Wait, we started at 7.30, impossible. What time did we go on? No. 7.45? Okay, fuck it. Really? Yeah, well, holy Jesus shit. Christ. Time has been flying. But we haven't touched them yet. We haven't, uh, like, we, fucking... We, we, we touched Alma. I, I Sasquatch fucked you, it was a... Uh... <laughs> Let's, like, is, it, is, it, is there a quick way to touch them and then play D&D &D and then touch, want, touch them hard? Who wants to be, uh, uh, she wants to be touched. What's your you name? want to be touched? Get All right, her, come up and come get touched, I guess. I don't know, is it that simple? Get touched, munch, fuck, munch, get, 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 get touch, touch corner. New segment, touch corner. Touch corner. Welcome to touch corner, where Dan Harmon. Is it Megan? Uh, Megan, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I met Megan at the uh, thing across the street. Hello, Megan. Touch oh, corner. Megan! Dickens! Fagin! Whoa! Uh, 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 and a rhyme with Megan. That's good. Megan, right. what's up with you? Uh, lots of things. Did you literally just want to get touched physically? Uh, well, yeah, but... <laughs> but also emotionally, yeah. deeply, spiritually, yeah, physically, yeah, yeah. Totally, psychically. Totally, totally, totally. What part of you, Megan, spiritually has gone untouched until tonight? Oh, all of it. The whole spirit, the whole soul. <laughs> Basically bottom. everything. Nar narrow yeah, it down yeah. a bit. Yeah. Narrow it down. Well, I'm very untouchable. You're untouchable? Kind Are you? Kind of. I'm very. I'm an asshole. Do you work with Elliot Ness in the? Uh... <laughs> no, I. Do you, I, do you I bring work... a knife to a gunfight? <laughs> <laughs> I, I work in an office and I don't get along with anybody. So. What, what's what's wrong with the people that you work with, or what's wrong with you? What, what's keeping you from connecting with uh, with, with people? That's good. Uh, I, I'm not a very nice person. You are. I'm not. You're not. So what do you do like in a typical exchange? Like what keeps you? So let's let's do a, a scene. Okay, I'm, cool. I'm a coworker. Let's do, let's go. Where do you work? I'll, I'll be Sasquatch. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey, cool, cool. Megan. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Megan, 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 where do you work? Uh, I, I work in an office in a manufacturing plant. Man, okay, all right, all right. Hey, Megan, uh, these manufacturing uh, paper papers <laughs> like don't indicate uh, enough of. Ah, uh, uh, fuck you! I, Jesus I, Christ! I, what the yeah, fuck? Motherfuckers! I just. What uh, the fuck, Megan? I'm just. I'm doing my job. Yeah, fuck you! I, I. I can do it better. I can do it better. I can. Hey, do, better. do you want to go out sometime? Fuck the, you know what? I'm t I'm t I'm taking this to a d to your supervisor. Uh, to these things. Oh no! Wait 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 oh, okay. wait, 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 wait. All right. Okay. Wait. Okay. Uh, if you say that you did this, I'll let it go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow, that's tempting. I I did yeah. this. I did this. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> No, I'm tired. Uh, Mr. Jacobson, I, uh, I, I, yes. I, I, I did this with the manufacturing papers. You did this? Yeah. You're hired. Whoa! Fuck you, <laughs> Megan. Now I'm your boss. Yeah, but now do you want to go out? Yeah. All right. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go to. Let's go to the dance club. <laughs> oh, there's a famous rapper up on stage. Whoa. Break down. Break down, I'm a famous Portland rapper. My name is Crip Crap Crippity Crapper. I rap from the shorelines to the coast. I, I rap your mama like your pussy's made of toast. I, I'm a famous Portland rapper, blah blah blah. He trails off. Whoa, this is great. I love coming to this. Oh, this famous Portland club. Yeah. Hey, let's go back to your place. Okay, come on, let's go. All right. Jesus Christ, there's human heads everywhere. I know. I, okay, okay. What the fuck is your problem? For this. Okay, I know, I know, it looks really bad. This looks so bad. Did you start talking? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I have a lot of experience running. 
<laughs> like so many experiments. <laughs> Did you? I think the experiment like, is over. I know, Heads I can't I'm live on, when they're not on bodies. Gosh. Okay, there's like different levels. Yeah, the head level and the body level. You're not, they're supposed to work no. together. Okay, so like Megan. this one, this one is running like what happens? You chop a head off. Right. Wait a minute. And one of these the heads water, is. One of these heads is Hitler. Swim. Okay, okay, okay. No, Hitler's. That looks really bad. Whoa! Hitler's rapping. Oh, Hitler rap. My name is Hitler, and I'm here to say I'd like to take over Europe today. I'm on to go with my sleeping plan and sweep through Sweden, and that's all I can do. And next, Poland, and wear a uniform. I should have stayed in art school. Woo! Oh, wow. That's really great that... I, you know what? I, I'm starting to... I'm starting I'm to... Super, warm up to you. I'm super Polish. I'm super Polish too. Well, let's get married. Let's do it. All right. Uh, uh, Dude, uh, eight do years do later. You, what, what? What? You call this a a a, 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 a a fucking sandwich? Yeah. Well, what the fuck do you want from me? What the I fuck mean, do you want from me? Never a thing. You never a thing. You never again. I. So what the fuck do you what want? What the fuck do you want? You're never what the fuck there. do you want? Yeah, of course he's fucked up. You're never there. Oh You're shit, our, our, our children are rapping. <laughs> I wish mom and dad wouldn't fight. I wish I was never born. I wish I wasn't white. I wish I had a better life from a little baby to oh, child of Megan and Dan. Dan. Oh. These fucking kids are shitty rappers. I hate this sandwich. I hate your fucking... I, I, talk, I looked in the, in the magazine, I took a quiz. It said if you go to a woman's house and she has decapitated heads and one of those banana would try to kill her and that's how you fall in love with her, then it's gonna be shit and I didn't listen to it. And I fucking regret this. I regret this shit. I regret working with you. I regret handing you that paper. I regret all the chances I took on you. But I love you. I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> I love you so much. And, 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 Everything is so important. <laughs> Everything, in Everything life. is so important. Everything in life. Everything it comes down to that one moment. Is important. <laughs> From the trees to the bushes to the road. Statistics of Sasquatch rape. <laughs> there are 75,000 instances of Sasquatch rape in the Northwest. Most people don't report it. I know it's not you. The Library of oh, Congress. They don't believe that. <laughs> All right, Megan, everybody. She. I guess, I guess we got to know Portland a little better. That makes sense. We learned a lot about Portland tonight. I don't know. Makes sense to me, although I'm 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 pretty pretty blown out on uh, what is this called Volstead? Yeah. All right, we should play D and D now. Look at this guy over here. Is it time? You know, a guy came up to me uh, 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 at the uh, bar, Spencer. A guy came up to me and he said, "I love your podcast. I have one note." And I was like, oh, "Here we go." And he said, you should separate the D&D &D from the podcast and do a whole D&D &D thing with Spencer and have celebrity guests. And I was like, Andrew, shut up. I did it. I sold that show. We're going to do that on the web. It's going to be a whole different thing. It's Spencer. <laughs> 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 and he was like, oh, I already knew that. I just wanted to, like, I invented it to talk to you about. And I was like, I, I ripped off his face and I was like, dad. <laughs> And he was like, 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 I'm sorry, I had polio. Right, let's, get, let's get Aaron McGathy to the stage. Aaron McGathy, are you out there? All right. What if Aaron came up with her shirt off? I, I was toying with the idea. I just had, I had my tights off with like a target around my 
Let's see. Everybody, did we go? To, like, like Spencer's wearing a T-shirt that says "Master of Dungeons." Uh, I'm wearing I, a T-shirt that says "Sharpie." I spilled. I had a, a Rob. Rob's the, the awesome guy who made all these shirts. Let's hear it for Rob. Rob. He, he he made me a shirt with two arrows that said "Adventure." I spilled vodka all over it, but I had it on earlier. <laughs> vodka is a terrible stain. But Rob. <laughs> Rob, let me tell you, she spills vodka all over everything she loves. <laughs> Including like, vodka. Like, 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 like her boyfriend, uh, the planet, uh, uh, birth certificates. It's a christening. Wait, this guy's got a camera on his head, and he yeah. went to the bathroom. Did you, did, did, you, did, did you just film yourself taking a piss? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, all right. Is it? There's no red light on it. Is it? Is it out of uh, out of out of out of, out of uh, D12 or whatever? Oh my God! He has blood all over his face. <laughs> Neil, Did, make sure it's still rolling. And uh, also, can we give him three dollars off his ticket price. Jesus Christ! He's, I, I I also uh, I was told I was told by Morgan, our tour manager, that I need to announce that after the show. We're going to the Lucky Labrador across the street. Uh, and uh, that's, where, that's where Spencer and I will be selling merch and where you can buy prints and, and T-shirts and, and Dan and Jeff will sign them. Only $50 a signature. No, 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 no. I'll, so, I'll sign anything you, 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 you buy. And also, you don't have to buy anything. I'll, I'll, sign, I'll sign your napkin. I'll sign. I, I will, uh, for no price, I will mine Sasquatch rape you. <laughs> <laughs> Portland, you guys are fucking weird. I love it. Also, Spencer and I have a special kissing booth where you can stand in the middle and we'll kiss And watch cheeks. them kiss. They, they both kiss each other. All right, Spencer, can we get our character sheets, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spencer, pass, pass that down to... Spencer is now dispensing court. the uh, character shirts. Yeah, shirts. Spencer, get us up to date, would you please, in the campaign? When we last met, the party was still trapped in the confines of the InfiniFish. After taking out a lung and returning to where Cork had encountered the kidney, the party took on the massive organ and the spidery spark. Ah, fuck. And the spidery sparks guarding it. The kidney was eventually destroyed, and the gang pressed on through a thicket of fleshy cords, sliding down a slimy slide to a pink platform. Fuck. At the bottom, they fought a tricky slime, in case in which was a book. And after slicing and dicing the bloody slime, Sharpie was able to retrieve said magical toe. The only way out appeared to be a large sphincter on the floor. What would they do? <laughs> I think I've said this before, but it would be so handy to have Spencer like in your day-to-day -day life as an alcoholic. <laughs> you went to the drawing room and started doing shots of Fernand yeah. Branca. Yes, you left your credit card there. <laughs> at about 3 p.m., yes. Gino came by and you ended up going to the L.A. Zoo. <laughs> Searching for your wallet, you realize that yeah. If you get a text from Margaret, don't answer it. <laughs> Margaret. Yeah. All right. So now that's why. I'm gonna say, uh, uh, just to start things off with a fun note, I'm gonna just stick a foot through that sphincter on the floor and see what see what goes. <laughs> just just the one foot. Let's you know. Let's, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna run. And, I, and I'm gonna go like like a, like a like a long jumper. I'm gonna go one, two, and then I'm gonna like like put my hands above my head, and I'm, and I'm gonna feet first to go through the sphincter on the floor. But what are you gonna do in D and D? Huh? Nice, nice. Don't you snap? Can we? Is it at what point time is it appropriate? I just saw these T-shirts over here. When when do we bring those up? Uh, in a bit. Okay. In a bit. All right. Yes. Uh, Sorry. Wow. Dan Herman fucked my mama, and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. <laughs> all, all my mama got was these lousy herpes. <laughs> no, they're uh, great herpes. No, okay. Baby, babe, they're great herpes. They're, they're weaponized. All right, so I, I do a one, two, three, and I make myself like, uh, I, I, I go feet first through the sphincter on the floor, Spencer. Floop. <laughs> You swiftly slide through the sphincter and find yourself in a small chamber. In front of you is a meat curtain. You sense something powerful and dangerous behind. Oh man, is this gonna be like the Indiana Jones thing, but it's a turd like rolling? Because you're obviously in a colon, right? That's gonna be like I, a, I don't know. You're running from a round I'm, I'm, ball. Look, I'm looking at a meat curtain, yeah. Uh, I, uh, 
so uh, I, what are my surroundings? You're just in a small area. It's pretty closed off. Uh, you just flew through like a giant sphincter. And it okay, I, 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 do, I do a cartwheel and do a, a, a round off. And, and as I round off, I, 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 I try to round off through the meat curtain so that when I emerge through the other side of the meat curtain, I go like, ta-da! Like I swear to God. So I do a cartwheel and then tuck and then do a round off and I land. I go through the meat curtain. Okay, so cartwheel, tuck the knees. Yeah. Round off. Right. Meat curtain. Ta da. Right. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm upside down doing the tuck as I go through the meat curtain. And, and then ideally, I would round off and be facing whatever I'm facing at the other side of the meat curtain. Well, you attempt that. <laughs> Your shoulders get stuck in the meat curtain. No! <laughs> you fall unceremoniously outward. Into Should a have done five room. more round offs. I fall where? Into a largish room. Oh, so I'm, I, I, I've gone through the meat curtain. You, you can see through the meat curtain. I wouldn't say you're entirely through it. <laughs> but I'm in a largish yeah, room. Yeah, and you're also like falling on the ground from, from failing your cartwheel maneuver. Okay, then I just crawl, like army crawl, hand over hand, nice. through the meat curtain into the, into the greater room. The room is littered with flabby tubes and arteries. The walls are covered in web-like lattices of veins and strands of fibrous tissues. You can see a large, throbbing heart standing in the center of the room. Hanging from the ceiling are two orange orbs of tissue, perhaps some sort of nerve cluster or other thing. Two flabby tubes reminiscent of stalagmites stand up straight nearby the heart. Flabby they, tubes, he was that actor in all those old uh, yeah. John, John Wayne movies, right? Yeah, no, it was terrible what happened to him. Like, well, the, the, the studio would system like, really victimized him. Hey, you can go to that heart, are you? Where are the gold in there? He has a, the, the, the famous story is that Flabby Tubes like you know like murdered that kid, but it was all it's not true. Right? <laughs> uh, okay, so Walt, Walt Disney I, I, I murdered a kid and I, blamed it on Flabby I Tubes. I hollered a Sharpie and Mulray and said, "Hey guys, I think I found the heart and possibly two nerve clusters. Get, get, get on in here." Oh, is he coming back up through the? No, spectrum? I, I holler. I, it, does the sound carry through meat curtains? You hear the faint squelchy sound of Quark's voice. <laughs> coming through the sphincter. Does it, does it sound like he's saying, don't come down here, I'm being digested by a sphincter? Or does it sound like he's maybe saying, uh, like Data in the Goonies, hey, I found another room? You, you hear it sounds like he mentioned something about a heart. OK, well, I'm, I'm, I, I, jump, do do? I jump down through the sphincter. <laughs> You gotta, you, you, gotta you, gotta, you have to you can leave your friends behind. Cause your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, oh, they're not friends of mine. Okay. Sphincter dance. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't fucking no, I, clap for that shit. <laughs> don't, don't reward that. If you don't give a shit about the Goonies reference, then fuck the safety dance. Uh, <laughs> just let me sit up here and die in front of you, of old age. Let me turn into Mount Rushmore. No, right. no, no, don't. <laughs> Sharpie, you can't just go through the sphincter. You have to cartwheel through the meat curtains and then army crawl through the rest of the meat curtain. I actually want to use that stick that you gave me that has the button on it. Okay. That, uh, I'm going to put the stick through the sphincter, uh, so to speak, and then, and then slide down it like a fireman's pole. Okay. Because I pressed the button. Is this, because you, hung out at, uh, yeah. is this because you went to the uh, embers today? Is that, is that why? Embers is awesome. The fish tank bar. We had a, we had a big, f <laughs> we didn't have a big fight, but it's cool that there's fish in the bar, and then inevitably someone's gonna go, oh, those fish aren't being taken care of. Like, come on, but they're in a bar. It's a, it's a, tr it's a, it's a tranny bar, right? Yeah, but the fish don't know that. <laughs> like if I was a. I don't think anyone was like, oh, the, these these trannies are a bad influence on the fish. <laughs> They're gonna start dressing up as, as snakes. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a drag drag queen play. They have drag queen shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that was this was during the day. They're open at like eleven. You can go sit there and it's like beautiful. And they got a fish tank bar. Embers. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I didn't want to feel bad for the fish. I thought the fish were it's like there's goldfish. They're they're a robust species of fish. Yeah. And if, and, and and the whole bar is a fish tank. That means that the uh, fish are over here, uh, 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 and they could go all the way to the end of the bar. All the way, like, like if you were a fish, that's, it, that's that was born in a tank. They, they, they came from a, a lake. No, they didn't come from a lake. Yes, no, one, no, one, no, one, no one from Embers goes out in a raincoat like a Vandy Camps fisherman and catches, oh, another goldfish for the bar. They're, they're born in a goddamn paper cup at a carnival. But, and, 
and, and, and, and, and, and the ones that get adopted by the drag queen for members are like, they're the luckiest fucking goldfish in, the, in Portland. And it's a, like, they pour them in there, and the fish are like, what's happening? And it's like a Pixar movie. Like, Albert Brooks comes up and goes like, holy shit, you wouldn't believe it. There's a, there's a whole bar. And then every once in a while, yeah, like someone like crashes through the top of the bar because they get angry, and then they're like, probably a fish gets crushed. But, All right. but at least there's no turtles eating them. All right, so I'm waiting for my friends through the meat curtains. You, you see a staff poking its head through the sphincter and then the meat curtain. Chubby! Hey! Oh. <laughs> I'd recognize What's that up? staff. <laughs> this shitty... I grab onto the end of the staff and pull him through. It's stuck. What? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me press that button. You pull it. He, you know, Sharpie, are you on it or are you already through oh this? Oh boy, point? stickler over here. Okay. It's important. All right. I. God damn it. You hey. can just pick one. It's fine. Just pick one up. Am I, am I, am I on the pole? Or yeah, what? did you already come through on the pole or is he pulling you through now? I wanted to slide through. Okay, yeah, picture. well, that happens. And then, okay, so you slide through. Hey, what up? Mole Rain, press the button and come through. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. All right, so you slide through. Now you're there. Now you grab the thing. Now okay. it's grabbed. Yeah. You got the staff. You guys through the door. You guys could have you, you could have done a, car, a cartwheel. I wanted to do something cool. Like, uh, like All right, so uh, what are our surroundings now, Spencer? Spencer? Am, I, am I there? Yeah, you're okay. there now too. Hey guys. <laughs> hey, good to have you back. Uh, what, what, so what do we see now? You're in a room. No, so I explained the heart, right? So there's a giant throbbing heart. Hanging from the ceiling are two orbs of uh, orange tissue, perhaps some sort of giant nerve cluster. Said that already. There's the two flabby tubes. They're venting noxious gases in the colors of green and orange. And you can also see a few tentacles waving around nearby the ground. In the center of the room, you can see that eye stalk that you encountered earlier. Shit. And it begins swaying ponderously. Gentlemen. Uh, are, are, are we trying to destroy the fish, or should we? We, we just want to leave the fish, right? Well, I think we, we have to kill it. Yeah, I would but say. If, but if we kill it, are we going to fall down into nothing? Yeah, but I use my far sword here's, attack. Here's my plan about far that. Far uh, while they're fucking mulling shit over, I, because I'm a barbarian, I, I, I swing my far sword as hard as I can at the heart. At the heart itself. Right? Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, you miss. Fuck everybody. Your far sword goes wide, and rather than hitting the heart, it instead strikes a tentacle. Ooh. That, is that good? It's better than not hitting anything or hitting yourself in the foot. I remove... You deal seven damage. All right. I remove two... V arrows! Oh, she did it! <laughs> and as I'm pulling them out, a sparkle from my eye catches Quark's eye. And I, and, I, and I pull back and I shoot my arrows. At? At adventure! That doesn't at, at the heart, at the heart. At the heart. <laughs> you no, no, shoot no, no. two arrows at v the arrows. heart. V-arrows, Spencer, V-arrows. Yeah, V-arrows at the heart. I'm listening. Both of them strike the heart directly in its center of mass. Sphincter battles. Battle Dealing six damage. Six. six. Yeah, six damage. The Which eyeball like sways ponderously. Sex damage, right, guys? That's some Seattle shit right there. I don't know. I don't know. I just randomly thought maybe they had a rivalry with Seattle. They do, they do. <laughs> I they was do. really tired today, and I think for a half an hour I thought I was literally in Seattle, and I met someone and they're like, yeah, I'm from like an hour north of Seattle. I was like, all right, so an hour away? <laughs> Portland's it was, way it was, better though. It was Eddie Vedder. You know it was Eddie <laughs> I thought he had something in his mouth. Couldn't oh, understand it. Oh, you just gotta go to Voodoo Donuts and do some slacklining. The tentacles shoot out of the floor and grapple you. They wrap themselves around your legs. You feel as if you can't move. At the same time, the ponderous eyeball sways and its eye turns purple and it looks directly at Sharpie. What? Sharpie. Yeah, I, you... go, I go like this. <laughs> I like 
Like what? It seems like an impressive response. As you make your excited and cool maneuver, um, you feel a haze come over you, and all of a sudden you feel the presence of several enemies surrounding you. Oh shit, I've been charmed against you guys. Well, yeah. use, some, use some magic. No, I've Yeah, been... use some magic. You're a mage. Oh, oh, can I resist it somehow? No, you can fight the enemies you see. No, I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna fight my friends. You do, that's the thing though. Yeah, well, you, you can tell me that I wanna fight them. I've, I've watched you go through this with Jeff. Okay, you cast Scorching Ray on Warrior. Oh. It hits. Oh. Ah! 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 Dealing eight damage. Eight damage. Eight damage. That's like fucking some some uh, average some, shit. Some uh, Bend, Oregon kind of style. <laughs> that was some time. Eugene shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was some Medford style bullshit. <laughs> uh, Medford style. <laughs> Messed up now. No. I know. What do you want from me? <laughs> I just want the old dad. Want you to back. take your shirt off. Save it, save it, save it. I said take your shirt off. Uh, take my shirt off. Okay. All right, so whose who, turn is it, Spencer, for fuck's sake? You see those orange things I mentioned earlier from the ceiling. They're shaking wildly and uh, right. shaking a violent red powder onto you. It, uh, it's making you guys sick. You feel kind of sick oh. to your stomachs. All right, uh, oh. I, I go into a, uh, I go into a, I use a power attack on one of the orange sacky uh, thingies. They're pretty high up. You'd have to jump to hit them. Uh, I, 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 I run, and I first jump off of Mulrain's shoulders, then onto Sharpie's shoulders, and then jump as high as I can and swing my sword at, the, uh, at one of the orange sacks. Um, taking a few steps back to prepare your charge, you leap forward. Catapulting yourself off the back of the half-elf, you leap high into the air and swinging your sword in a wide arc. You slice cleanly at the cord, di- ha- holding the dangling nerve cluster. It falls off and falls to the ground and explodes into a pile of uh, dust. <laughs> Never the- had a lesson. Never had a lesson. You hear the beast give an unearthly shake around you as well as a long, far-off wail as if it were in immense pain. Oh, we're close, you guys. Somebody attack the other nerve cluster. I take out my long sword, and yeah. Zip. Yeah. I take out my long sword. It looks great. And I attack the other nerve cluster. Well, it's too high up. Uh, well, you're too high up. Yeah, I am. Um, I, I, I jump. Okay, uh, off I Sharpie's jump, back? I, sh- I jump off Sharpie's back. Okay. Super, super cute style. Mm-hmm. All right. Or would it be better to do arrows? It, it would be better to do arrows to hit things far away. But is, it, is it too late? The, the question is how many arrows should she shoot? Three. Six. <laughs> Fourteen. Well, I mean... I, I don't. I don't want to be a bad D&D player. I did already say that I that I uh, have the sword. It's true. Jumping I mean, off your friend Sharpie, you launch yourself at the nerve cluster. You get right up to it and pulling your sword from its holster, you swing in a wide arc. However, it misses and you tumble to the ground. Dungeon snap. Team. <laughs> Thank you. I will next time, ma'am. I will. Yeah, Valison yeah, hasn't even followed you guys. He's just making sandwiches. <laughs> He's back in the last area. Come on, Sharpie, finish him off. Sharpie, you shake off the effects of your charm. I do? Yeah. Oh! I, I cast a, a, a booyah. No. Sharpie, you, you attacked me. I wasn't myself. It's like it's like last night when we got in that fight. <laughs> Over the straw. Yeah. What was the straw fight about? Dan I handed accused her me of ruining coat his straw. And... <laughs> <laughs> I handed her a diet coke, right? And and she handed it back and the straw 
looked like a an animal had mangled it. Like, like it looked like a child had chewed it all day. Like it was all twisted. And I thought it was funny, so I went, what the fuck? But because I'm a professional entertainer, I wasn't smiling and laughing when I was like, hey, what the fuck? And she was ignoring me because she was she was round that bend. Like the fact that we had gotten Taco Bell should tell you what state we were in. <laughs> We were, you know, so so I just accent. I just looked at the mangled straw and I went, hey, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> like, because I was yes anding the fact that she was an animal. I I, I, I was like, what, what's with the fucking mangled straw? But, but but Dan, it's, I think it's important to say that uh, right before this happened, Dan was like, I'm not eating enough tacos. So I I gave him my taco. It's not important. That's like saying the sky is blue. I never get enough tacos. <laughs> I was gonna play, I'm a, whatever. It's not, this is Anyway, not, you said not, what the fuck. Pittsburgh, I didn't Portland. think it was a joke. I thought you were starting a fight over a straw. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> you're starting a fight over a fight over a straw. You're like Look, the, I love you more. Nice. Oh, well, that was supposed to be cute. <laughs> and yet it wasn't. I, you're the best. I cast magic. Who gives a shit? Sorry. I cast Scorching Ray! Ray. There's a ray, it's a scorching ray. It's hotter than a cold ray, hotter than the sun. Gonna scorch a ray and then we're done. Scorching ray's gonna cast some damage on this motherfucker. motherfucker. Portland got a scorching ray. Motherfucker got a force breath. What do, you, what do you shoot it at? Oh, oh uh, uh, hey, you gotta aim it at something. Yeah. Uh, the uh, is the eye stock still there? There is that eye stock. Yeah. Fuck that. The guy. Yeah. Fuck that guy. The guy that got me. The guy that charmed me. All right. Your scorching ray strikes true. It strikes the eye directly in its lens, <laughs> dealing 18 damage. Oh! The eye stock closes its eye and starts crying a bit. Oh, I go like this. Oh. <laughs> I attack with my emerald dagger at the, at, the, at the eye stock. You attack the eye stock with the emerald dagger? Yes. Okay. Attacking the eye stock with your da emerald dagger, you notice that it misses. It strikes by a lot. <laughs> I notice that it misses. <laughs> yeah. Sure, it's a sad notice. state of affairs, but there you go. Uh, I, I, I look at my dagger and go, way to go. It goes, well, that's the first time you've ever talked to me. <laughs> I say to the dagger, look, I didn't know you could speak. Yes, you know, there's a lot of magic items that can speak. Okay, look, let's not fight like Aaron and Dan. Let's just... Let's... You should kill that other orange thing. It seemed like it pissed that thing Don't off. tell me what to do, Dagger. I'm in charge here. Do you know how magic I am? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, did, I didn't know you could talk. I, I, if I knew that you were a magical talking Dagger, I'd have asked you what to do. Well, apparently we can fill a book with stuff you don't know, but I know you should kill that. Because he's a barbarian. But I know that you should attack that orange thing because I'm magic in a day. Okay, well, I tried to attack the ice truck and you fucking failed me. Like, uh, this relationship has to be built on trust. Yeah, well, that, I didn't trust that we could, uh, you know, harm that ice stock. Okay, okay, look. I was look, right. I'm patient e e Emerald Dagger, shut the fuck up, Mulring! <laughs> having a conversation with my dagger right now. <laughs> I wonder if the podcast is going to get seven emails talking about how your relationship with the dagger ruined the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> It felt honest. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I mean, I really love you and the dagger together, but... Uh, but I you mean, both need to chill. <laughs> All right, um, because my dagger is not a person, it's a dagger, I, uh, I, I come to an agreement. I say, look, from now on in the future, let's just let's communicate with each other. And, and uh, if, 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 I'm ever, if I'm ever not living up to your standards as a dagger holder, did you, you just say so, and I'll try to become a better barbarian. And if I ever have a problem with your effectiveness as a, as a dagger, I'll just say so, and then maybe together we can grow, and one day you'll, I'll, I'll live up to who I should be and what you should be, and together we'll, we'll form a union uh, and be better people for it. You know, and, yeah, so, and so, and Love so, expert updates, everybody. Woo! 
And then I say, and the next time I fucking attack an ice talk, fucking get your shit together. So partnership is equals. That sounds pretty, pretty good. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's attack stuff together. All right. Hey, you know what? Dagger? Talking to you, Dagger. Oh, I, I, I thought you meant your throwing knife. Not, my bad. A dagger? Okay. What's up? Hey. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> you too, man. <laughs> My dagger. <laughs> Worst TV pilot ever. Cork and dagger. <laughs> Slash most Cork and show. dagger. Starring Dabney Coleman. That's your boss that sent you out. Cork! Why does a dagger? You don't have a dagger in your pocket, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> what was that? What was that sound? That was my badge and my gun. <laughs> Cork and dagger. Friday. You know, this police department has a strict rule against talking daggers. <laughs> so, yeah, are you gonna hit stuff? Uh, dagger? Hey. <laughs> I, know Gosh, not, I, I, know, I, I, I know it's not my turn. But let's go out and turn one more time. <laughs> oh, I don't think you've taken any combat action. Okay. So. <laughs> dagger, I'm gonna, I, I tell Dagger, I believe in you. And I want you to hold me like a dagger. And, and, and the dagger summons a power to use me as a sword and holds me and wields me like a, like, like a blade. And we charge toward the, uh, toward the, the last remaining uh, nerve sack. And, and the, my dagger wields me like a, like a dagger and like, like holds my ankles and my head goes straight. I, I, I hold my sword up like in the air and the dagger swings me. At the, the last remaining nerve sack. You know the crazy thing is that I had a cursed sword that actually would wield its wielder like that. Like, so that's not even an entirely original idea. Like, dungeon, like super dungeon. I just I like it's a good plan, but uh, that's not the magic that's enchanting this dagger. All right, unfortunately. dungeon snap, writer's workshop snap, like. <laughs> Los Angeles snow. So you're saying that can't happen? No, but all I right, mean. okay, fuck it. I just I, I take my I take my dagger with our newfound relationship and with an extra confidence that I never knew existed, I wield my emerald dagger and I run right at the heart. Right at the heart. You strike it critically. Well, well, that's crazy. That's crazy. What are the fucking odds, right? How much? What are the odds of that? Like honestly. <laughs> dealing 30 damage. 30! Yeah! You all ready for this? You strike a great blow against the heart. It gives a violent shudder and starts to ooze blood. Oh, the entire room you're in shudders and quakes, and you take uh, some damages. I, we, we all do? Yeah, from the quaking and shaking of the thing you're inside of. Fair enough. You all take four damage. Yeah, that's, that's nothing. <laughs> that's some quake shit. It's, uh, it's definitely injured, but not dead. By the way, Spencer's using the dice that whoever brought Yeah, who dice. got any of these awesome dice? These are fucking sweet. Who did it? Oh, I can't see him. Anymore. What's his name? Nice. Tom. Tom? Tom? Thank you, Tom. These are the coolest things ever. For the podcast listeners, he, uh, he looks like a very crafty Jesus. Uh, good looking guy. Thanks, Tom. These are some sweet dice. All right, guys, finish it off. I had a, I had a breakthrough with my sword. Uh, so, uh, so Spencer, is the, is the, the heart is still is the heart done? It's not. I mean, we might want to break here to be honest. Oh, the heart the heart's a full time job, huh? It, well, I, yeah, it's 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 a tough job, but someone's got to pump it. Before we stop, can I shoot two good arrows at, at the heart? At the heart, yes, yes, you can. And give me twenty. Well, I tried. <laughs> One of your arrows strikes the heart directly in the heart. <laughs> Dealing 11 damage. Good. Just arrow. dagger winks at me. No. No eyes. <laughs> but the jewel, it like glimmers in a winking fashion. It, 
It glistens. <laughs> and, and I accept that glisten as a wink. That's fair. Yeah. So you think the heart's really that full-time a job? We should stop here, huh? Yeah, no, you're not. You haven't killed it. All right, well, let's, let's stop Spencer, that. Spencer, everybody. Uh, Spencer, cliffhanger! Fuck yeah. Lucky Aaron McGaffey, everybody. Lucky Aaron McGaffey and Spencer Crittenden. Wow. All right, Port Portland, uh, a home of, 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 of good, wonderful, artistic, beautiful, uh, uh, clean, spiritual, wonderful, transparent people who, who for, th through whom God flows constantly and, and, and that government cannot crack. We need to come up with our fucking constitution here before we go to San Francisco. Because, you know, in San Francisco, they'll just go like, you should be able to park wherever you want. And they'll be like, crazy. <laughs> so, like in Portland, like, 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 these are people who sculpt things and like, like understand things. They program things. There's like people that, they're, they're a practical people, Jeff. They're a good people. They're a port people. Uh, it's called Portland. It's named after the port of Portland. Is that right? Ships come in, and they, you have to get shit done. When a ship full of salt comes in, you gotta put the salt somewhere. There's another ship full of pepper coming in. Like, they got to, they, 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 they've, they've adapted a culture of, it's, it's called the New York of the West. Can we get a, a representative of Portland, somebody who feels that they know the most about it? So we can, like, who, who among us right now would, would be the most representative? Do we, do we want to? Right here? You, sir, you, you, seem, you seem lumberjack style. Get up here. Our first dude of the night. What's your name, sir? Por Huh? Ryan. Ryan, everybody. Por a Portlandologist. Ryan, Ryan. Gra grab there a mic. Take the mic. All right. Uh, so, um, Portland actually is named after Portland, Maine, off a penny flip. Uh, all right. <laughs> hey, who, 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 who is flipping the penny? So, two guys moved here, one from Boston, one from Portland, and they both wanted to name it after their home cities. And they flipped the penny, and it came up Portland, and now that penny is in the museum. No shit. Mm -hmm. You know the craziest thing about it? Because that was 1820, there was no one on the penny. <laughs> so there was no, like, 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 people say that Portland just made it, made it up. Yeah. Like, because Abe Lincoln was, he was just running around, he was in college. One, side just, had, one side just had the word heads, yeah. and the other side had <laughs> tails. Just said penny side one, penny side two. Uh, yeah. Anyways, Ryan, uh, are, Ryan, are you a uh, a local? Or, 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 or no, I uh, I moved here four years ago to start med school, and I'm actually moving away tomorrow because I just graduated. Oh, good for you! Congratulations. <laughs> what kind of what, what do you? What do you I'm, I'm a chiropractor. Oh, okay. So kind of uh, kind of real medicine. Oh, I think you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Some like 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 spine surgeon just booed you. <laughs> chiropractor boo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't. Yeah, I, I went to a chiropractor for a, for a while. I had to. I have a terrible history of back pain in my family. But then I got one of those inversion tables. Oh yeah, those are awesome. Uh, do your people? They, they don't recommend them though, right? No, inversion tables are great. And you're out of a job. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't fix everything. It just helps. It fixes everything for me. <laughs> I mean, it helped. I mean, it, it it made me not have to go to a chiropractor ever again. I mean, I don't care if you don't see me. I just feel that if you get better, that's all I want. Really. Hugging up. I'm making up with chiropractors tonight. Yo. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Back doctor. Yo. I want to rock, 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 rock to. What? Doesn't matter. Yo. It's Ryan? Ryan. Yo. Yo. Ryan. Ryan. Back pain. Run in the rain. I'm gonna feel the strength and heal myself with my pain. I'm gonna bend over backwards for my lower lumbar. I fucked your mama so hard, she never come so far. I fucked your mama till she had back spasms. I fucked your mama and her pussy was a chasm. I sky dove down to its bottom. I fucked your mama so hard, I started to feel it was a uh, Gotham. I didn't really want to rap, but I, I, I think that's what, it, like, I wasn't feeling it. I wanted to talk to Ryan for a little bit about Portland. That's why you brought him up. I don't care. Can you play that song? <laughs> I felt joyless and forced. I liked it. I thought it was good. Oh, thanks. Yo. 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 I'm awful sorry I blamed my bad rap on you. Uh, I didn't mean to 
take a crap on you. I came up to Portland to transform. I fucked your mama so hard I, I needed chloroform. That doesn't, that doesn't mean it was non-consensual. I fucked your mama good, but it was quite sensual. I, I met her at a diner and said, let's go out. And I, I, I fucked her good, and, and she started to scream and shout, but not in protest. In joy. I fucked your mama, impregnated her, and made a boy. It was you. I'm your father. Calm down and harm and Turn that frown upside down. Back pain. His yellow poop is brown. Lumbar. Come on down to harm and tear. Little bones from your butt to your neck. They make your whole body work. And if they get wrecked, you're fucked up as heck. You gotta go to a doctor. But if it's not a real doctor, gotta go to a chiropractor. <laughs> He'll delay you down, he'll snap your back, and he'll uh, turn you around, and he'll say, does that feel good? And you'll say, yes, it did. And he'll say, come back in a week, no matter what. They we always have, come, come on down to Holland Town. Scam, and down, upside down, snap it. He's got a poop, this brown pelvis. Come on down to Holland Town. Rapidly rap. Rapid, rapidly rap. I, I didn't think I was gonna rap more, sorry. <laughs> Ryan, take it. I, Ryan. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. Yeah, go. I came to Harmon Town. I had my tip round turned upside down. Dan Harmon made me feel so good. I have a little bit of wood. Whoa! <laughs> Harmon Town. Turn that crown upside down. Boner. I'd like to reach out and touch that wood, the one you, you just mentioned, rub it like I should. I won't make a wish, I won't wish for a genie, I just want to reach out and, and touch your weenie. I hope that it makes my back feel better, I hope you, you look good in a cashmere sweater. I want to take you home and put on some music, I would like to fuck your mama so hard she won't know how to use it. Referring to her pussy. Gary Busey. <laughs> down a Harmon Town. Turn that frown upside down. Sorry. Please, yellow poop is brown. Vodka. Spencer! You go to a chiropractor for your spine. If you think that you can get it, you will be fine. After about three sessions, you're feeling better. And if you know it, pussy something wetter. <laughs> gonna rap, gonna rap some more. It's gonna reveal really like rhymes galore. And if you think you're really good, then you'd give you what for. I don't know what's going on uh, for. Take it to the chorus. Come on down to Harmon Town. Master. Turn that frown upside down. Word. His yellow poop is brown. Jeff. Come on down to Harmon Town. My turn to rap, and the mic even on. I've been sitting over here for so long, I don't even know. I, I, I've been listening to Dan and Ryan and Spencer flow, but now I, I guess I have to let the lyrics flow. I've been sitting there, and I think I love Portland so much that it's the coolest town in the Northwest. It's such a cool town because the food is great and the booze is flowing. I like the fact that the, that the hoes are growing. <laughs> It's, 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 bro. it's, it's a weird thing. So, hose actually turn into bros. And, uh, and uh, that's why the Portland uh, water always flows. Oh shit, goddammit. Let's get the pink ladies up here. The pink, the pink oh, t-shirt ladies. <laughs> <laughs> they made t-shirts, you guys. Thank you, Ryan. Ryan, oh, Ryan, Ryan the chiropractor is gonna, is gonna go get an adjustment. Uh, they got the Ryan. shirts that Dad fucked the mom and all I got was a lousy t-shirt. Yes. Yeah. All right. Alright. Okay, yo, yo, yo. Dan, you're, yo. Gonna, you're gonna rap, yo. and then you, you're yeah. also gonna say. Yo, yeah, yo. Yeah. Yo. Yo. Here we go, yo, 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 yo. Go. Yo, yo. Oh, yo. Yeah. Rock in the crowd. What's your name? Jen. Jen, nice to meet you. I, I fucked your mama, but uh, 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 it's a way that I greet you. I, I, di I did it far and near. I fucked your mama till I generated a joyful tear. I did it in the northwest. Fucked her booby on her chest. Came, wait, I can't hear the. I, I fucked. I'm off the beat. Okay, just give me a second. Well, just give me a second. This is Portland. It's a land of second chances, and I just sprayed. Come on down. Okay. Sorry. Did that spray? I saw the droplets. Droplets. Yellow boot is brown. Need a shave. Wicked rhyme spitting out of my face. I fucked your mama so hard. Her 
her shoe needed a new lace. Shoe came off her foot because I fucked her hard. I fucked her mama until she had blubber for lard. They're the same thing. I'm going to sing, sing. And whenever I came out, ring a ding. I, I, God damn it, I fucked up so bad. I really want to rap better than I ever have. I, I got three ladies in pink. Uh, and I don't want to do, do so bad that I stink. I got to. Let one of them rap. One rap, one of them rap. I'm going to go to them. Uh, just don't, give me a second to clear my mental phlegm. What's your name? Megan. Megan's going to rap. Going to just say one thing, and then it'll be the done. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Bad idea. It was a bad idea. It was a bad idea. Come on down to Harmon Town. Pink turn up brown upside down. Girls, it's yellow, boob is brown. Get it now. Get it now. Get it. Spitting fire, flowing free as a stream. I swear to God, I'm not thinking of anything I'm saying. I really mean it. I'm going to open my mouth. Being transparent so my eye is God's eye. Just want to say this is the best city in the world. I'm sorry if I offended any boy, any girl. Keep making sculptures and eating your weird hot dogs. I want to fuck you so hard like a Lincoln log. Go downtown, get into a taxi. I fucked your mama's pussy till her pet was a maxi. I fucked your mama in her hat and her shoe. I fucked your mama so hard. Fuck Oregon. What you gonna do? Come on down. Thank you so much, everybody. Good night. We love you. Thank you, Portland. Thank you. Well, we're here in Nashville. Megan, Amanda, and Fiona. The, 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 the pink ladies. I'm Jeff Davis. One more time for your mayor, Dan Harmon, everybody. Thank you all. Work it, Dan. Is it? Is this a special, this special treble-based rap beat? Oh shit! Special track, secret track, special track. Chiropractor gonna fix you back. Got a special track, have a heart attack. Yo, make that line, have some slack, not tight slack, and fucking rock it between it, get a lamppost in my back. Go to a chiropractor named Ryan. He cracks my back, he's not a doctor, he's just trying. He went to medical school, he ain't nobody's fool. Pink lady smacking Amanda, oh, Peter O'Toole. That's probably not her name. Just trying to rhyme, it's the name of the rap game. Spencer for higher up in his t-shirt. And I heard Portland was where they invented dirt and took it down to Seattle, where they eat it because they're a bunch of human cattle. The Northwest is the place to be. I, I fucked your mama so hard she turned into a bee. Uh, she made some honey and I took and put it on some bread. I, I, and then I, I squeezed her, the little head, and, I, and, and then the honey came out of her ears and I turned it into a, a, a pale lager with some kind of beer and served it across the street at the Labrador place with a little piece of taco meat. This is free and it's good and the health code is up to snuff. I, I fucked your mama so hard that enough is enough. I, I fucked your mama in her keys and her purse and her hat and she said, please, please don't do it anymore. Uh, with, with, I, 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 I've had enough. It feels abusive and misogynistic. <laughs> And I said, I'm so sorry. I, it's just where my mind goes. I don't, I don't, I, 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 it's because I love women. I, I give them too much power, and then I try to take it back from them. And so it comes off as rapey and creepy and gross. And that's, that we all know that that's how that works. Like, like, like every man that you meet that seems abusive to you and threatening to you, he's really just saying to you, when I see you, I get intimidated by you. And then I, 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 I'm trying immediately to counteract that with some kind of power attack. And meanwhile, you're just a girl going, well, he's bigger than me. And so this feels really gross. And, uh, you, and then you're incompatible. And then you end up going out with some beta male type who's equally psychologically inside out, like a different ways. I know, I know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. 
So uh, everybody just communicate with each other. And, and I fucked your mama's shoe. Come on down to Mormon Town. Turn that ground inside me. He is your blue brown. Come on down to Mormon Town. Motherfucker got a man.